हेलो एवरीवन आई एम श्रुति सिन्हा वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन निर्मला कॉलेज रांची होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड साउंड टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू द वर्चुअल लेक्चर व्हिच विल कवर यूनिट वन कंप्यूटर फंडामेंटल्स इन पर्टिकुलर वी विल फोकस ऑन द इंट्रोडक्शन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Let's understand what is data and information. A collection of raw data and figures is called data. It cannot be used to draw any conclusion. It may consist of numbers, characters and symbols etc. Let's understand what is an information. So Processed data is called information and it is more meaningful than data. Nowadays computers are an integral part of our lives. So let's understand what is a computer. Computers are automatic electronic machines that accept data and instructions from a user store the data and instructions manipulate the data according to the instruction and gives the desired output to the user a computer system is composed of hardware and software the term computer is derived from the word compute the word compute means to calculate the full form of computer is c stands for commonly o stands for operated m stands for machine or mechanical p stands for particularly u stands for used for t stands for training e stands for education and r stands for research Here we can see the block diagram of computer which consists of input unit CPU and output unit Here we can see that CPU is divided into three parts memory unit control unit and arithmetic and logic unit The main characteristics or advantages of computers are high speed, accuracy, automation, storage capability, communication, diligence, reliability, versatility, low cost paperless work. Speed is the first feature of computer. Computer is a very fast device which can perform any type of task in a fraction of seconds. When performing a particular task for us together, it can maintain the same speed till the end of it. The speed of the computer can be measured in picosecond, that is trillionth part of a second. Second characteristics of computer is accuracy the word accuracy means exactness of the result the accuracy with which a computer performs calculations or processes data is very high a computer never gives any wrong information unless and until the user does because a computer does all the operations using electronic circuitry performing millions of operations every second these circuits can run errors free for us together next is automation so a computer can perform a particular task continuously for us together without any human intervention One of the most important features of a computer is storage capability. A computer can store large amount of data and whenever required can retrieve it back very easily and very quickly. A computer is also used for a communication. 
next is diligence so a computer does not suffer from the human traits of tiredness or bored the computer is a reliable electronic multipurpose and multiprocessing device a computer is reliable as it gives consistent result for similar set of data that is if we give same set of input any number of times we will get the same result next characteristic of computer is versatility so a computer can perform almost any type of arithmetical and logical operations which can be broken down into a series of a computer readable logical steps it can perform different and multiple kinds of job and the last and very important feature of computer is it provides us low cost paperless work so these are the advantages of computer now let's have a look on the history of computer the discovery of numbers which is considered as the greatest achievement of ma mankind led to the development of all kinds of calculating device today we can't imagine a work without numbers it took thousands of years to get the present system of numbers essentially there are three kinds of calculating devices that is manual mechanical and automatic the earliest device that qualifies as a digital computer is the abacus it is also known as soroban abacus was the earliest form of computer abacus means board or calculating tables egyptians invented it in 450 bc later chinese and japanese improved it abacus consists of a rectangular wooden frame having iron rods it contains a divider with color beads in rows used for calculating and counting finally it was used to perform calculations this was the first mechanical calculating device in the history of computer there are three different kinds of abacuses russian abacus chinese abacus and japanese abacus in the year 1642 blaise pascal a french mathematician invented the first calculating machine this machine was called pascaline it worked on the principle of rotating wheels each wheel was marked with a number from 1 to 9 and a particular decimal column limit that is ones tens hundreds and so on the machine could do only addition subtraction and multiplication repeatedly it was believed that pascaline was the first mechanical calculator in the early history in the early 19th century a french man joseph jacquard invented a loom that used punched cards to automatically control jacquard's idea of storing a sequence of instructions on the cards is also conceptually similar to modern computer programs charles babbage was an english mathematician in the 19th century he designed a machine called difference engine this machine was used to calculate and print mathematical tables later 
this machine was improved and was renamed as analytical engine which had a punched card input a memory unit and an arithmetic unit it was the first machine to have an input process and output it had almost all parts of a modern computer charles babbage is rightly known as the father of computer or the father of modern computer lady ada augusta loveless was the first programmer in the history of computer on the name of lady ada Agusta Loveless there is a computer language which is known as Ada A major breakthrough of 19th century occurred when Herman Hollerith a young mathematician employed by the Census Bureau of USA used punched cards to tabulate the USA census of 1890 during the early of the 20th century IBM which stands for International Business Machines Corporation and other manufacturer produced a variety of computing devices for business use In the given picture we can see the Herman Hollerith's tabulating machine which used a hand punch to enter data into cards In 1896 Herman Hollerith founded the tabulating machine company which merged in 1911 with several other company to form the computing tabulating recording company it was named renamed the international business machine corporation that is ibm by company president thomas j watson in 1924 1920s to 1950s was the electromechanical accounting machine era there were a technology known as punched card technology here we can see the picture of punched card office in 1942 the first electronic digital computer was the abc in 1943 the need arose for computing artillery firing cards so electronic numerical integrator and computer that is eniac came into being J Presper Eckert and John W Mouchley developed it in 1946 it was also the first large scale general purpose computer improvements in design went on to make the computer faster and smaller John von Neumann was a mathematician associated with the development of ENIAC he suggested that a computer should not only store the data and the calculated results but also programs so 6 year later in 1949 the first electronic delay storage automatic calculator that is edsac was made and used at cambridge university london it was in this way that the modern computer came into being the first commercial production of stored electronic computers was univac which is stands for universal automatic computer 
During this period, computer programming was mainly done in the machine language. Assembly language was introduced during the early 50s. Univac was developed by Mouchley and Eckert for the Remington Rand Corporation. It was the first commercially viable electronic digital computer. IBM's first entry into the commercial computer market was the IBM 701 in 1953. IBM 650 introduced in 1954 was designed as a logical upgrade to existing punched card machines. In 1959, Dr. Hooper led an effort that led the foundation for the development of COBOL, found the first bug in a computer, a real one. She repaired the Mark II by removing a moth that was caught in relay number 2. Here we can see the first integrated circuit. The first integrated circuit, a phase shift oscillator, was invented in 1958 by Jack S. Kilby of Texas Instruments. Here we can also see the PTP-8 mini computer. In 1963, Digital Equipment Corporation introduced the PTP-8. It was the first successful mini computer. The third generation was characterized by computers built around integrated circuits. A family of computer with upward capability. When a company outgrew one model, it could move up to the next model without worrying about converting its data. Then, in 1964, a programming language known as BASIC is introduced, which was developed by Dr. Thomas Goods and Dr. John Kemeny that help a beginner to use the language very easily and quickly. In the 1969, ARPANET was introduced that served as a starting point for the construction of the first and most widely known VAN, nowadays known as Internet. In 1975, Bill Gates and Paul Allen formed Microsoft Corporation, now the largest and most influential software company in the world. And in 1976, the Apple I was formed by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak along with Ronald G. They formed the Apple Computer Company. In 1981, IBM tossed its hat into the personal computer ring with its announcement of the IBM Personal Computer. In 1984, Apple Computer introduced the Macintosh desktop computer with a very friendly graphical user interface. From 1985 to till date, Microsoft introduced Windows, a GUI for IBM PC compatible computers in 1985.
in 1989, Berners-Lee and a small team of scientists conceived HTML, URLs and put up the first server supporting the NIC World Wide Web format. In 1993, the development of the geographical browser Mosaic by Mark Anderson and his team at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, NCSA, made the web accessible to everyone. Mark Anderson and entrepreneur Jim Clark founded Netscape in 1994 to create a web browser based on the Mosaic project. In 1996, the Palm Pilot handheld computer was introduced by Palm Computing Incorporation. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.